supposed to be a, a, a vigilant warrior taking out every fox that would dare come into your home. So these foxes take forms. Uh, a fox could be careless, unnecessary debt, financial problems. Uh, financial problems cause a lot of a lot of issues in in marriage. A lot of habit in marriage. And so you have to be a valiant soldier, standing guard, watching your finances, being a good steward of what it is that God has blessed you with, and watching your family manage the money. Okay? All right, it might also take the, the form of fox, may take the form of a distraction. There are all sorts of distractions that will remove the priority of your life and maybe make it secondary or ter- tertiary. Okay? What are what are those what are those different distractions? Well, friends. Friends are good. But a friend becomes a fox. Friends become foxes when they steal from the devotion that you're to have for your life. And TV is fine. TV is fun. In moderation. Because TV programming can become a fox. It can take away from your devotion, your attention to your life. And internet, the internet's useful. But the internet becomes a ferocious fox when licentious images come in and they rob your affection and your faithfulness to your spouse. So you've got to be a sentinel. You've got to watch every possible fox that's going to come into your marriage and disrupt it. You've got to be on guard, on guard. Jesus is the ultimate sentinel. He's the example of it. He gave his life to save us and rescue us from the foxes, to save us and rescue us from our sin and the consequences of our sin. He is the model for what it means to be a husband. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. That's your charge. So, Justin, if you are ready, if you're willing to accept this charge of being a protector of your of your marriage, if you want to accept the challenge, we. Oh, I do. <laughs> Uh, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs>